thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me today. It's great to have you here. Been looking forward to the conversation. What is the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester and what do you do there? So the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester, we um, want to make the great impact in the life of young children, youth and their families. So we have been providing like early education, child care program, the youth program, after school and summer program and also the program for children with a special need. I have been working for Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester for a few years and my everyday work is I try to make sure that not just family of the Boys and Girls Club but the family in the community they can uh, have the support services and they I'll have them to access into some free resources in the community so that the child they can develop uh, healthily and uh, the need of the family will be met. So very interesting to hear that it's Boys and Girls Club but it's not just for boys and girls it's for the boys and girls but you also focus on the moms and dads. Yes. Why is it important to do that full circle of the children plus the parents? At our program we recognize parent is taking a really important role in the child's life. Um, they, we want to value parents at um, they are really like they should participate in all of the level. They uh, should be valued as the first teacher of the child and the expert in their own life. And we want them to be like the powerful leader mm. in the community. And do they want the assistance? Do they want the help? Do they want the tools? Do they want to learn about the available resources? in the community, how do they, how, how do the parents react to the help that you are able to provide? Um, I can tell you, our program, we have been working with a lot of families who are low income, who are underserved, um, the new immigrant family who just come to this country. Um, not just they, we come to serve them, but they, they come to ask for the help from us. Even we are like uh, the program who focus on the children, but we want to extend our service into all of the concrete need. They can come to our club to ask for, they like, fill out the uh, school registration form, or if they're curious about the child's development, we have like, a screening tool for them to know like, if the child's like, de development um, develop at the, the bridge of the milestone. Yes. The need out there is really big, and we only worry that we cannot like, serve all of them. There are too many. There's, there's yeah. too much need. Yeah. What is the parent leadership model? I can tell you the parent leadership model is the backbone of many great community organizations in Boston. Mm. We have been developing the parent leadership model for such many years. Again, we want to uh, make like, parents at the center of everything. We want to have them to participate on all of the level. We want them to really um, value as the, the expert in early education. And we want to see them to step into our program, um, to partner with our staff to, uh, to develop the model of the program. And further on that, we want them to be a powerful leader in the community to make the change, the impact, the positive impact in the policy and the system. As an immigrant yourself, why is it important to you to be involved in the work that you do? What do you hope the impact of your work is? Eight years ago, I started work for Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester just as a parent volunteer. And then I was promoted to be a part-time staff and now I'm a full time with the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester. The directors over there, they really believe in me. Um, they value myself as a, like, no matter of my race and my ethnicity. And I want to pay forward for that. Mm. Um, I want to um, set myself as a great model for the older immigrant women um, so that they can step out of their comfort zone, they can dream big and think big and they want to become 
to pull out their leadership inside themselves to set the goal for their child, for their family, and saying about think big, they can be the great advocate and leader in the community. So we, we, we tell like a lot of women, um, you, th you go there, you go outside, you vote, but you worry that you cannot make any changes. But no, you, as just as a parent, you can really, as an advocate and the leader in the community, to make a lot of changes. I know you would not want to talk too much about yourself, but given what you just said, do you get the sense, do the parents see that you have done it? Does that make it believable for them when they see what you have done? Yes. Um, when I reach out to a new parent who nervous about their future, I always like to share my own story, my own private story, even not a really like beautiful, happy ending. But um, I want them to see like myself as a migrant, an isolated mom. At the beginning, now I really go further on my career journey to become a full-time child. Um, so I want them to really believe in themselves mm. if they um, if they work hard enough and if they build their own leadership, they can always be successful in a new country. The opportunity is there. Wong, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the work that you do for those families. Thank you for having me have a chance to share my own story.